Hello everyone. Welcome back to YouTube channel of BISPtraining.com. My name is Sumit, and uh, in this video, I am going to explain how to integrate Gmail account with Dynamics CRM 365. I've got various requirements from couple of my users that they would be facing to integrating their personal Gmail account with Dynamics 365 which is the updated version of Dynamics CRM. Therefore I decided to record this video and share with all of you that how to do the integration between Gmail and Dynamics 365 using personal Gmail account. So let's have a look. So we'll be going to do the couple of steps which we have already done in previous integration as well. So there are certain new steps which we'll be going to configure today. But I'm going to do it from the beginning so that you will not miss any step. So very first thing is you should have a Gmail account. So as you can see here, I have one of my Gmail account. And I'm using here Gmail account. My Gmail account is sumi.bsp2016 at gmail.com. And this is my personal mail account. This is not associated with any company or any organization. Because in company or in organization, the securities are already enabled. Whereas in uh, when we configure our personal mail account, there are certain securities which are not enabled by default. So we have to enable those securities. Then only we would be able to integrate our personal mail account with Dynamics CRM for sending and receiving emails. So I have already logged in into my CRM application, CRM org and settings, email configuration. And first of all, I'm going to set up email server profile. I'm going to create a new mail server profile as POP3 or SMTP server. So I'll just specify a name, let's say personal mail. Server type is POP3 SMTP server, incoming and outgoing port. So incoming and outgoing port would be same as we have done in previous sessions or uh, in previous video. That is for uh, same you, uh, you have configured for your official mail ID. So I'm using here or organization mail ID. So I said POP dot gmail.com and smtp.gmail.com then uh, authentication using credential specified by a user or queue so I'm not going to specify any uh, credentials here I would like the users they should provide they should specify their own credentials in their mailbox and advance it should be 995 and 587 so I change it to 587 save and close just for verification purpose I simply open it again and make sure just check it again whether it's working or not or whether the port number is correct or not so I'll just open it again and figure it out the port number because sometimes it happens that the port number changed automatically so it's working for 995 and 587 so 995 is for incoming port and 587 is for outgoing port and because the authentication protocol is basic I'm, I'm not using any SSL or any other so if, it, if you are using SSL then you should provide 25 here for your outgoing port incoming port would be same for SSL as well 995 but for outgoing port in SSL protocol it should be 25 so I'll just close it and now I'm going to make couple of other changes email configuration settings and here I'll remove this one and I'm going to specify the mail server which I have created just now so click on this one and look up more records personal mail add it I'll just uncheck it you know and it would be set as server side synchronization or email router that would be fine click on OK next we'll be going to create a new mailbox or if you already have a mailbox for a specific user we have to configure it so in this case I'm going to configure my 
own mailbox. So I have a mailbox. You can see it's not running and I'm you the server profile is Microsoft Exchange. So we have to configure it. We have to change it. So I'll just change the settings of my own mailbox. So individual users, they will just make the changes in their own mailboxes. Any alerts. So you can see this mailbox is disabled at present. So any alerts. So there are no alerts at present. I'll get back to configuration test and uh, allow to use credentials for email processing. Yes. And I'm going to provide my credentials. So in this case, I'm going to use this account. So I copy this email and paste it here and my password. So I'll just provide the password. And here also the server I'm going to use is the personal mail. So I'll just <clears throat> set it for personal mail. Personal mail, add it and set this to none. Save it. Let it save. Then click on approve email. Okay. And test and enable mailbox. Test and enable mailbox. So click on okay. So it will start the process. And you say I'm getting a message the email configuration test is. You can click on alerts to see whether the configuration is success or not. So any error message, it will display here here itself. Now configuration may take some time, maybe few minutes or more than that. So please have patience and sit back and relax and let the test complete by its own. So you can see here the test is in progress. It will take some time as I've told you. So let's wait. So you can see here I received a message as a fail. So the test has been failed. So I'm not able to configure it or I'm not able to test it. Even if I look at the alerts, it says email cannot be received for the mailbox. Make sure that the credential is specified in the are correct and have sufficient permissions for receiving emails and then enable the mailbox and similar for outgoing as well. So basically what we have to do is we have to enable a couple of settings in our mailbox then we will come back here so what i'll do is i'm going to share you a couple of links so you have to click on those two links one by one and enable the settings in your mailbox so you can follow the links below this video and then by visiting those links you can configure your configure the settings for your mail account so these are the two links first one is for setting and a security less secure app so I'll simply paste this link here and it says by default it is turned off. So it says access for less secure app by default it is turned off. So we have to turn it on. So I click on turn on and update it. So it will automatically gets updated and the second link is to display unlock capture. So I copy this and paste this as well. And here we have to continue. So as a security precautions, Google may require you to complete this additional step when signing into a new device or application. So I click on continue settings will be done and it is enabled. So it says account access enabled. So by clicking on these two links, we have to enable the settings. And now if we rerun the test, if we say test and enable mailbox, now the settings will be done perfectly fine. So I simply open it again and activate this account once again i approve email set it as an approve email so before that what i'll do i'll just delete all the previous alerts i just delete all the previous alerts we'll go for a fresh alerts now so approve email okay and test and enable mailboxes Sorry. so Test and enable mailboxes. Okay. And let's wait. Let's the test begin again. So it will redo the test. So you can see it's again testing, doing the testing again. So just wait. Now you can see here after the uh, after the successful configuration, I have received the messages. The configuration test for incoming and outgoing have been done successfully. So I'll just save and close it. And uh, I'm also getting one success message for the test run has been success co successfully completed successfully and incoming and outgoing test also has been done or has been configured 
successfully without any issues and without any error so that's how we can integrate our personal gmail account personal gmail uh, with dynamics 365 that was the issue most of the people were facing so that's why i decided to record this video i hope this video this video will help you in configuring your personal mail account with dynamics 365 now let's test it so for testing what i'm doing uh, i'm going to click on contact and in contact i already renamed i already edited the first record and you can see i have already set my mail id the correct mail id or of my official mail id so i select this click on send direct email and i'm just going to test it whether it's working or not so i select marketing email notification click on send and if I received an email in my mailbox, it means the mail server has been configured successfully. So let's go and check whether we received an email or not. So as you can see here, I have received an email and it's saying that dear Abraham McCormick and his so and so content. So it means it's working perfectly fine. So that's all in this video. I hope this video helps you in configuring your personal mail ID, personal mail account with Dynamics 365. That's all in this video. If you have any queries, you can write to us on www.bsptrainings.com. Keep watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.